Hi, welcome to the final chapter and ending of my playthrough of Lake. Time to find out what I chose for Meredith's ending. Will it be the big city or the small town or something else entirely different? Stay tuned to find out. Please do hit that like button as it helps this video get shared and gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. Leave me a comment. I'll ask you some questions throughout this. Feel free to answer them below the video. I will be reading every comment. Thank you so much for being here. Enjoy. Oh, Steve's parcel. And another note from Tess. Hey Em, here are Steve's contracts. I bet you're in the mood for some light reading. And now without sarcasm, really, I must admit the energy here is contagious. Is Adit actually going to take off? See you soon. Tess. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Uh, good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. Who's this? My name's Walter Morgan. I'm with the Postal Service. I left you a message on your answering machine earlier this week. Uh, okay. Oh? I must have missed it. Miss Weiss, if you could follow me into the office. Am I in trouble? I'd like to ask you a few questions. Are you familiar with the Postal Service policies? Um, yes, sure. Um, yes, well, the gist of it. Go Can ahead. you remember ask the second from Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph? Well, ask me something else. Ah, oh, yes, Chapter 11. Riveting stuff. It says in Chapter 11, Section 3, First Paragraph, and I'll paraphrase, it is forbidden to use Postal Service property for personal gain. <gasps> what did I do? Oh, okay, sounds reasonable. Is this about the videotapes? Miss Weiss, I'm aware that you've only just begun working here, but I trust that you do not take the responsibilities of a postal worker lightly. If you look up the definition of integrity, it has my picture next to it. The Postal Service puts its employees under the highest level of scrutiny. I advise you to answer the following three questions. Listen, truthfully. man. A yes or no will suffice. You're the man, man. Do you know Frank Coleman? Yes. Yes. Have you ever given him envelopes <gasps> or received envelopes from him? Oh, no. I want this is about the secret. I'm gonna have Frank's back. I don't know what you're talking about, sir. No. Ain't no snitch. Are you aware that Frank Coleman wages bets on baseball games? Nope. No. No. Mm -mm. That will be all. Thank you for your cooperation. I got your back, Frank. What's going to happen to Frank? I'm sorry. We can't discuss personnel matters. Man, is he gonna Up lose with the mail job? today, Miss Weiss. Wow. It's gonna happen. I think I did the right thing having his back there, though. Don't you think? Can't, uh... Can't testify against old Frankie boy. All right. The Oregon Trail Motel Vacancy. Where we were previously ignored. And Oregon Trail is a, uh, a reference to an old video game, isn't it? But also, I think, aren't we in? Wait, like, where's the package? Oh. <clears throat> sure, I, I knew that. I feel like this is Portland or something, I think. What on earth did these folks order? Hmm. What do you think? A new, a new computer, maybe? A Macintosh. Hello, sir. Hello, sir? It's the mail. Excuse me, what's this all about? Um... It's all about the mail. I'd appreciate it if parcels are not just dumped on the counter. My guy, take it then. Sign for it. Where do you want it? Ooh, I'm going to call him out on his behavior. I'd appreciate it if you'd act yes. like a human being. You'd understand if you had any idea about what I'm trying to do here. Setting up a computer system to handle all the bookings is quite sophisticated. I can hear you playing a game. Ooh, I work in computers too. Actually, I do understand. Did you just try to mansplain me, sir? Oh, interesting. 
I work in computers too. Delivering computers does not mean that you work <laughs> in computers. Wow. No, actually, um, sir. No, this is just my temporary job. Yeah, this is temporary for me too. Excuse me, but I have to get this done. <sighs> he doesn't understand that I'm actually a very, very talented and smart programmer, does he? He doesn't get it. Ah, <sighs> men. Men. Am I right? Comment. Ah, men down below. Typical. Right, where is, uh... It always seems like it would be such a nice place to live or grow up or something, but... I remember Dad telling me, Meredith, the picnic area is for the older kids. I'm sure anyone who... I think I was 17 when I had my first actual picnic here. Did grow up in a small town would tell you that it's awful and they couldn't wait to get out of there, I guess, you know? Hello again. What's your name? Mickey and something? Hi, sweet Meredith. June. Hi there. Here's the mail. Thanks. Um, how's it going? On your own today? Sorta. Mickey's in the RV. He hardly slept last night. Said he had hallucinations of rotten fish in the RV. Did he have too much of the stuff that makes you feel funny? Well, actually, when I went outside this morning, there was this huge rotting lake trout right below our window. Totally grossed me out. How does something like that end up there? Ew, disgusting. A lake trout? I may have... Oh, hold on, Mickey's got to read this. Someone Mickey, out there trying to... wake up, honey. Leave me alone, I'm still shit-faced. <gasps> it's a letter from Damien. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Give me that. Looks like we won't be here much longer. Why? Oh, really? Where are you going? We're going to Canada. We will be picked Canada. up this Thursday, early in the morning. We're going to Canada. Canada? For good? Joan? Are you running your mouth again? I'm sorry, sweet Meredith. Gotta go. Hey, you know what? You should come by Wednesday. Our last night here. We'll build a campfire, have a drink, maybe a puff or two. <gasps> you know. Am I gonna have to choose if life, Meredith has a puff? The complete outdoors experience. Do it. Oh, cool. Yeah, why not? Do it. Joan! Awesome! Got Meredith's run. trying to live See a little out here. She's having her, you know, midlife, uh... Rebirth. I don't want to say crisis, but she's finding herself out here, right? Experiencing her old town and a life that is very different to the one that she leads these days. In the busy city, nearly crashed and ruined the car. I'm kind of glad there isn't car damage because I am a terrible driver in video games. And in real life. Beautiful. Hi there, Meredith. Well, so I suppose you've you come fish? to pick up that VCR thing you dropped off earlier. The movie box? Yes. Did you watch it? Yeah, I did. I did. Took some figuring out how to hook it up to my old TV set, but I got it to work. Good watch. Shark looked a bit fake, though. Oh, come on. It's the 90s. You thought it looked amazing. I saw it in the theater at the time. Pretty exciting. So anyway, Angie over at the Flick Shack hopes this entices you to visit. Yeah, I thought so. Tickle, tickle. Maybe I'll drop in one day. Well, you gotta get it back to work. Hey, here's the package. Thanks. See you around. This light's not good for Meredith's face. <sighs> Some flat fish. Okay, well, you know what? If I'm returning this to Angie, yep, I am. I hope she has... I hope she's nice to me today, because we are delivering these tapes, watching movies with people, telling people how great the video store is for nothing, for free. I think we deserve a little respect, you know? As do we all. As do we all. Unconditionally. 
It doesn't matter that I'm doing something for them. She should still be nice to me. Be kind. Be great if all this other stuff was open, wouldn't it? And you could just go in and get a sandwich or something. Get a toasty. Love all the different videotapes in here. We went through all of these in the first episode and placing them. Sapiens. Pretty and Lilac. Hold me up. Why do I feel like they've added some since the demo? Blaze Jogger. I don't remember that. Wait, what have they done for Rocky Horror? This is Rocky Horror. The Stony Thriller photo display? The Brunch Bunch. El Pacino. Sarface. Zarface. What's this say? Crash, crash dance, like flash dance. High voltage we saw. Meh man instead of Superman. Space Wars. Yeah, they've, these are new ones that they've added since the demo. The old father. Ghostbusters was there before. What's that one? Oh, the good, the bad, and the duck feet. Okie dokie. The bee instead of the fly. The maze instead of labyrinth. The thermometer. <laughs> Gremlins. Repo woman. The friendly dead. Oh, I love that they did more of these. That was one of my favorite things. It's so cute. I bet they had so much fun doing these. Nice. Any secret Easter eggs? Bunch of vinyls. Maybe like their uh, look who's here today. Short. Maybe um, see Van Halen in there. So these are like real vinyls, huh? Going back to Miami. I started collecting vinyl last year. Game soundtracks. Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And that's exactly what we're going to say. Yeah, you do. I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. Mm hmm You deserve better. I mean, thanks. I accept. Apology accepted. Let's move on. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow more than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real it. trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Mm. Nothing's worked so far. We called it. We called it. Um, what will you do? That's awful. I bet that is very What will you do if the store goes bust? I mean, I don't know. Without the store, there's really not much here for me in P.O. So you just up and leave? Interesting. I don't know. Maybe. Anyway, Enough whining. <laughs> Maybe. Anyway. Let me make up for my stupid behavior <gasps> and reward you for your diligent movie fairing, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a Ooh. plus one to a free movie of my choice at cinema the new date. cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. <gasps> a date. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. A so what'll it be, Missy? Date. Are you in or are you out? Of course I'm in. <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> cool. We got a date. And we're going to return to the post office right now, which will mean the date should... Again. What's going to happen with her? Will she come back to the city with us or will we end up staying here and she leaves? I feel like there's going to be a big choice at the end. That is my my thinking, my prediction is uh, we'll choose whether to return to the city or stay here. Perhaps, right? That would kind of make sense. I feel like all of our choices thus far have just been whether we go on a side quest or not, right? Like, if you didn't do these side quests with these characters, the game's probably 
quite short, but um, I feel like there's going to be one big choice at the end, I have to say. We shall find out together. If I'm right. Please let me pick what we have on for the date. Let me play dress up. Hello? Hey, Meredith. How was your day at the office? Uh, I mean, mail truck. Oh, hey, Dad. Do you know what? We're going to ask Dad what he thinks about all that. Actually, it did start at the office. I was being interrogated. Interrogated? What? By whom? Get some Walter fatherly Morgan, advice. A higher up from the post service. He started asking questions about code of conduct and about Frank. Morgan, that walking corpse. He's always after Frank. What did you say? I told him nothing. I ain't no snitch. Nothing, basically. That's my girl. They'll never catch Frank anyways. He's always one step ahead of them. Listen, Mom's poking me. I guess we're not allowed to talk about work. Uh, here she comes. I guess Bye, that could have been a decision. Maybe I could have dropped Frank Hi, in Meredith. it and he'd lose his job. Dad trying to get work stories out of you? Hi, Mom. Yep, he tried. And he succeeded. It was a weird day. Well, I'm changing the subject right now. Have you met that new guy at the hotel yet, Matt? Yeah, I met him the other day. Let's be polite. He's, uh, a unique character. Unique? <laughs> I guess that's one way to put it. He's one of the reasons why I won't miss working at the hotel. Anyway, how's life in good old P.O.? It's nice. I met some interesting people. That's this house good to is hear. huge. Interesting people? Do you mean interesting, interesting, or just Mom. Interesting? I think you could say interesting, interesting. <laughs> oh, honey, that's so nice honey. to hear. Oh, honey. It's been a while since you've met someone. All right. Calm down, Mom. That's what do you right. Know? And now I'm changing the subject. Through gritted teeth. Do you miss Providence Oaks? No, oh, Florida is fantastic. Oh my god. I think I might actually want to live here. The warmth of the sun, it's very easy. They're going to retire to Florida and no, offer me their house. Telling me to get back. Looks like the bar's open. Wonder what he's ordering this time. I'll get an Alabama slammer. <laughs> Good for <laughs> old people's bones. What? Alabama slammers. Cheers. The warmth. <gasps> Off we go on our date. Oh, please give me a cutscene of us fun. in the cinema. I it's beg. It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? Ooh, you pick. You're the expert. My pick. Let's see. I, uh, I mean, she offered. I'm going to pick. My pick? All right, let's see. Big What's Trouble on? in Little <gasps> China. One of my favorite films of all time. Velvet. Or the Great Mouse Detective. Big Trouble in Little China. Big Trouble in Little China. But I want to uh, see what she thinks. At least give me some guidance, though. Like, what do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. What'll come out no more? It's literally one of my favorite films ever. Uh, Blue Velvet. Blue Velvet. Who's Blue Velvet? Is that David Lynch or something? What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, yeah. which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite memorable I don't as think well. I've seen that. The Great Mouse Detective I haven't seen either, but I have heard of it. Heard anything about the Great Mouse Detective? <laughs> Disney movie, Mouse Detective. What do you need? A roadmap? All, All right, right, I'm ready to pick. Don't, don't mock me. We're gonna go see Big Trouble in Little China. Thank you. Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh, the Carpenter. This ought to be a ride. <laughs> Bit of Kurt Russell. And it's endlessly quotable. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. The check is in the mail. <laughs> you were right about it being a ride. Woo! 
Yep, that's Carpenter. And the best part is, reflexes. we don't have to talk about hidden meanings or anything. Oh dear. Does that mean we have to talk about ourselves? Dun dun dun. <laughs> hey, there's your story. It looks so pretty at night. So anyway. Just like you. <gasps> My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Right, Missy. Let's go that away. I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. That's cute. What do you love the most in your life as a hobby? Guys, leave a comment. What are you obsessed with? What's your fixation? Um, let's <laughs> say that too. I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Time to find Next something, time, Meredith. Next we'll do something in your area of expertise. You mean driving around in a mail truck? Sure. Park it anywhere around the lake and then just enjoy the sunset. Sounds dope. Next time's a little presumptuous, by the way. I like nah. the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. So, here we are. Oh boy. Now what? Ahem. <clears throat> Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. <gasps> I wonder what old Jack Burton would say at a time like this. They just kissed whilst quoting Big Trouble in Little China. This is the greatest game that has ever been made. Meredith, can I bug you for a second? Sure, Frank, what's up? Also, why am I just hearing the van the whole time, you know? Dun, 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 in the background, right? 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 Sure, Frank. What's up? That Walter Morgan guy. Uh, what did he want from you? <laughs> I can't even... I can't even describe how... Like, a kiss in a video game while talking about Big Trouble Little China is... Oh my gosh, so perfect. Okay. Who's asking all sorts of questions? That's that Frank, no. Also about you, Frank. God damn it! Can you believe that jerk? Are you in trouble, Frank? Trouble? Eh, they're the ones who are in trouble. I gotta get back to it, Meredith. Have a great day. Oh, before I forget, that Robert Harris guy was here this morning, looking for you. He asked if you could drop who? by. He's working somewhere in the forest who? today. <laughs> the lumberjack. Lumber who? Package for our baby. Shack. This is Main Street, and this is for you. Let's go drop this in. Uh, hey, babe. Oh, hey, you. <gasps> Hi. Oh. So I'm guessing precious. you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. My heart. Oh, really? Got anything romantic? <laughs> sure do. Or, wait. You do mean movies, right? So, what's on your mind, babe? Well, babe, um... Oh. I like you. I think we should just be friends. I'm starting to like you a lot. I'm not sure what to make of us. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting options. I sort of want to see what she thinks. But also, let's just wear our heart on our sleeve. It's that kind of vibe. I think I'm starting to like you. A lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. Cute. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Very cute. Being awesome is my thing. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? I would. It's bad for his health. <laughs> Touche. The long-term effects so are... So anyway, oh. what's on your mind? Um... Mm. You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah... I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Sure. Yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that... This whole Flick Shack adventure... Yeah. I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. You're leaving? Time. Wow. Is business that bad? Mm. Ah, and here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> It almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. 
not here. Oh yeah, this is the late eighties. This isn't even the nineties. Yeah. I said the nineties earlier. Yes, I am. Wow, I didn't like realize 87. until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. What? Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. Uh. Oh, there it is. How about you? Have you made your mind up yet? Uh, about your future, I mean. How can you just after we went on a date and then I come in here hugging you be like I'm leaving? Where? Have I made my mind up? I mean, where are you coming? Me? No, not yet. Sim, sim, sim. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing wow. of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Grand up and grand closing. I'll swing by later. Well, shouldn't we discuss where you're going? Aren't we a thing? Hello? <gasps> Hello? Knock knock. Mish. Mish, babe. <laughs> My queen. Wow. I feel like it's definitely going to be a choice between leaving with her or uh, staying then with Robert. Robert's going to be the one who stays. She's going to be the one who leaves and will be choosing. Oh no. Because in a perfect world, I think I would like to stay here with her. I'm going to have to give up this easy breezy way of life for love. what happens, I guess. What on earth do these folks order? I don't know. You, you seem bemused that anyone has any kind of anything delivered, Meredith. You say it every time I could take a package out the back, but... Um, oh, there you go. Work your way in. Hi, Kane. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Um, what is it? Ozy. Oh my god. Ozy. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... New instrument. A bunch of copies of the E.T. game? Ugh, I hope not. Okay. Famously one of the worst games ever that was uh, all filled in at a landfill. Dumped all of the copies that didn't sell. You don't have to tell me. I mean, if it's illegal. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. Uh, wow, you oh, opened that man, very I'm quickly. Super stoked this arrived so soon. I got Are you a musician or a magician? This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. Uh, I mean, go for it. You know? No kidding. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. If you like sampling machines, you should totally try out programming. Oh, man, I would love to. So much to do, so little time. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Pie. Pie. I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. Wow. We're clean out. It's like Anything noon. Else? Nah, I'm good. I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. How do you run out of pie? Like 10 people live in this town. Did you have the last slice, sir? Uh, Pablo Escobar. Here. Found him. Get him! Narcos. <laughs> We've been looking for some time for Pablo Escobar. This is me and my partner. You're probably wondering how he ended up here. Okay. Um, let me just shimmy on over here. Hello? Uh. Are you okay, Meredith? 
Okie dokie. Everyone, it's fine. It's fine. The, the perils of fast travel. Be careful. Wait, where am I going? Straight up, okay. Blumenak. Black on real the coaster, that is, isn't it? Zipping all over the place. Deer Crossing. Straight ahead, there's the creepy cabin. Oh, dinged it. Keep up here. Left, you'd never drive this fast down here, you'd be mad to. Anything could hop out, a bunny, a person, a wendigo, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be ready. Why is a package getting delivered out here? What the heck? Oops. Left the package in the truck. Who lives here? Somebody's... A ch... Oh, uh, uh, why am I delivering a chainsaw to a creepy cabin in the middle of nowhere? Meredith. Get ready to run. Answer. This is all right. On to the next one. Peculiar Raven Way. Is that a reference to something? Is this a, like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre reference? I am okay. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, I'm yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I love how when we played the demo of this, there was really undertones of people saying, Okay, when does it get creepy? Like, this is definitely a horror game in disguise. Something's gonna go wrong. It's gonna be a tragedy or a horror game. I feel like they knew that that's what people would expect, and that's what that was there, a little horror egg. Which hopefully won't hatch. So you guys think it's a horror, huh? Okay, so now we are going to zip over here and see Robert. Hey, Meredith! I'm up here! Hey, Robert! Is it cold up there? What? I can't hear you. Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Bloody hell, Robert. Out here on your own like this without supervision, what if Can something should now? happen? Hi, Meredith. Hi, Robert. Hi, Robert. That's better indeed. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Arborist. Awesome. I'd love to try that sometime. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figured it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Oh, here? Really? Ugh, what a shame. Fear not. I have masterminded a wild card plan. Mm hmm. Right, your wild card you plan. You refuse to tell me about I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. Of... Um, right, and then? Well, we'll start jamming. Some music producer accidentally drives by. Offers us a contract on the spot. Next stop, rich and famous. Let's do it! When and where is it? Rock and roll! It's this afternoon at Jack Reynolds' bar. It'll actually be a radio message to get the people in Providence Oaks and... Oh, I thought we were going to actually play music. Studio, huh? Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I'm gonna get back up in this tree now. See you later. Bye. Good luck up there. Thanks. 
Thanks. Old Bobby, old Bobby, no game there. All right, back to the post office. job. Okay, folks, it's showtime. Robert, are you ready? Yes, but before we start, I'm not a pro, so please bear with me. Oh, Duke, this better be worth it. I kind of want to do a run where Meredith's just mean to everyone. You'll do great. Okay, Robert, take it away. <clears throat> Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris. And I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Perfect. That's a wrap, folks. Back to work. Hold on. Hold on, Jack. Meredith, what do you think? I think you can do better. The text is fine, but I miss a revolutionary vibe. It needs more passion. Uh... Okay, you so might be right. Probably turn the car Jack, one more recording, recording, please. Sure, Robert. Here we go in one, two, three. Action! Right. Fellow Providence Okians, I'm Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Mm. Better? Something else. Actually, no. Could you also try Attention Providence Oaks and Lake Lovers, listen up. So, just the first words. Yeah, Robert, if you could hurry up a bit. Potatoes don't come out of Shut the up, Jack. Ontario. One, two, three, action. <clears throat> Attention, Providence Oaks. Lake Lovers, listen up. Like that? A star is born. Yes. Now, let's do some real work. I just want to push this as far as I can. Maybe it's an achievement. No, wait. It's not quite there yet. Well, I don't give a who. Robert, you said this would only take a minute. You're right, Jack. Sorry, Meredith. This will have to do. Wow, why am I even here, you know? No problem. This should be good enough. All right. It's time to really roll up our sleeves. You ready, Robert? Sure thing, Jack. Meredith, I'm going to return the favor and help Jack out today. If you love birds wanted to spend more time together, she can come along, too. Plenty of work to do. I'm Jack, sorry. What the? Am I getting roped into working on the farm? I mean, I did say I would do every side quest, so... Nothing wrong with a bit of hard work outdoors. Let's go. Rock on. Let's do this. Okay, folks. Hop on my tractor. It's time for the real show. Sure, sure, sure. Oh good, I don't have to actually do it. I thought I was going to be doing a potato picking mini game. Wouldn't have minded. Meredith, it's me. Steve. Oh, hi Steve. I'm sorry. Didn't get the chance to look at the contracts yet. Oh, you didn't. Ah, uh, you didn't. I am very busy. I'm just very busy. Sorry. All right. Hey, uh, I got to run. Corporate lawyer appointment. Bye. Bye, Steve. Review Steve's contract. Stay home, watch TV, read a book. Read a book. The Countess and the mm. Carpenter. Give me that filth. Chapter 5. Oh, to be outside for once, Cecilia sighed. Babbling brooks, the smell of pine trees, low grunting sounds of deer in the distance, and the quacking of ducks. Nature's peaceful splendor. And even the meow of a common house cat with a freshly caught duckling. Wait, a duckling? Let go of it. Come here. Don't run away from me, you little devil. Oh, no filth today. Wednesday. Good morning, Miss Weiss. Oh, my God. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Morning. I need to inform you that your colleague Frank Whoa. Pullman has been suspended. 
Frank? Suspended? Why? The only thing you need to know right now is that I will be filling his spot for the time being. Oh boy. Do the envelopes go to you now? Oh my god, drop myself in it big time. Okay, sir. Have a nice day. So do I give you the money now for the illegal betting, or... What? Providence Oaks, good morning to you! You fired. Today's contribution is from Matt Kearney. I have a positive. Last night's thunderstorm over the lake. Main Street. I wonder if I can develop those photos now. It says coming soon. Ah, there's the mail. If How's the like, photography coming oh, along? We'll find out now, I guess. My photography quest has been completed. <gasps> no, I don't want to give it back. No, don't contact. give it back. Don't give it back. Don't give it back. Okay, then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Okay. I don't, Thank you. I thought I would do see that myself, but can I continue to take pictures? Damn. Can I go in here? Hmm. Oh. I like taking pictures. I guess there's not too many days left. Gotta start wrapping things up. Man, I would love to zip into first person and see the rain, you know? Get the windscreen wipers going. You could have a really ASMR-y experience. Sound of the roof on top of the van. The wiper going back and forth. Do you ever just, like... As a kid, being in a car on long journeys, get lulled by the rhythm, by the rhythm of the wiper. I also always really liked the uh, the indicator, as we call it, or the blinker in America, or the for turning. Big fan. Big fan of noises, you know. What on earth did these folks order? Who knows, Meredith? It's one of life's great mysteries. Planning to start a podcast on that very fact. That very question. Packages. What's in them? Hi, Maureen. P.O. people. I need to pause the music for a special Oh, here message. we go. We're going to hear it. Uh, ash, darling. I want to hear this. And so do you. It's from our own Robert Harris, who wants to keep Providence Oaks pretty. Uh, don't flatter yourself. He's talking about the trees. Take it away, Robert. Dear people of Providence Oaks, I'm, I'm Robert, Robert Harris, and I oppose the plans for new apartments on Lakeview Drive. If you feel the same, let Town Hall know about it and give them a call. Good job. Let's keep Providence Oaks pretty. Good job, Rob. Isn't that something? Good Rob, job. It could have been more juicy, I guess, but it does say exactly what he wants it to, which is rare for our Robert. Even though he does have his redeeming qualities, doesn't he just? I wonder how he came up with the idea, though. Not me. Well, actually, Robert set it up himself at Jack's. Did he now? Mm -hmm. And how would you know about that, huh? Because I was there. Because I was at the studio when he was recording it. I see. Robert wasn't kidding when he said uh, he wants to keep pretty things around in Providence. <gasps> moly, now, moly, moly. Um, Maureen, I think I'm gay. Um. <laughs> She'd be like, what, honey? What? Nah, he just asked me to help him keep it pretty. Well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I actually wanted to talk to you about something else. Do you? What are you doing this Sunday evening, hon? Sunday evening, what am I doing? Something tells me I'm about to find out. You know it. Listen here. I'm hosting a very special first time Open mic night this oh, upcoming I Sunday. We'll have some drinks, some food, gonna be performing. discover the town's hidden talent or not. If you know what I mean, it'll be a hoot. More like a hoot and a half. Count me in. CK Good. perform. I already had you down on my list, of course, but it's nice of you to RSVP. That's settled then. I will see you this Sunday at 8 p.m. And tell everyone you meet, okay? Let me see you put those postal delivery muscles to good use. Okie dokie. 
let's just say I'll do my best. There you go. You're catching up. Now I have to go unpack some deliveries out back, but I will see you soon, darling. And don't forget about the open mic. I couldn't if I wanted to. Holding. Right, let's, uh... Another day ends. Wednesday evening. Not too long left now. As far as I know. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's me. Meredith just slowly losing her mind and uh, hearing the van everywhere. It's like it's like how you feel like you can still hear the sound of the beach when you've been on a beach holiday for a couple of weeks. And you come home and the silence is deafening because you're still expecting to hear the shh of the waves. Thank you for calling Alcoholics Anonymous. How may I help you? Oh, please, Meredith. It's not that bad. You're just jealous. Yep. <laughs> Actually, I am. I hope you mean about the weather. Well, it did rain a lot here today. Oh, just wait until the wet season really starts. It never ends. Well, why haven't you told her yet? Oh my god, they're, mo they're, they're moving. Her. They're moving. Well, excuse me, Mrs. Weiss. They're selling. Meredith, sorry to break it up. Your mom wants to talk to you. Meredith, I'm so excited. Your dad and I found this cottage wait, this god, weekend. I could have ran this. It's so pretty. Not too big, but... Who wants to be inside anyway? Me. Uh, me? I like to be inside. I know, honey, but hear me out. We talk to the owner. We can rent it for the time being, spend the winter here. And if we like it, we can buy it and settle down here for good. Congratulations. Awesome! I'm so happy for you. Isn't it something? And... Uh, it means that our house will be vacant for a while. We won't put it on the market until we've tried out Florida for a few months. So, um, if you want to extend your stay in Providence, oh. Okay. I need to get back to my normal life soon. Are you serious? I don't know when we're going to make this decision, but... Are you serious? I'm pretty serious. I want to know what the options yes. are before, but, but... It's a pretty big deal, so just think about it for now. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Can I talk to her for a sec again? Yeah, oh, here comes your dad again. Hi, dear. Dad, I'll get us something bubbly. Hey, Meredith. Just wanted to say that I'll call again at the end of this week. Have a great one. Okay. Bye, Dad. Okay, phone hung up. Wow. Should we? What do you think at this point in this? Should we stay or go home? Memories, memories, memories. I'm leaning towards pursuing the relationship, but we'll see what Angie says. in the darkness when my soul stars align and, and illuminate the real me. Oh, baby, I'm so happy for you. We, we need to celebrate this moment. I, I'll be right back, ladies. Mickey can be difficult sometimes, mm -hmm. but nights like these, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else but with him. True love. How did you meet? How did you two meet? At a dorm party. He was the cool guy who dropped out of college, and I was about to do the same. Is she interrogating you again, June? Oh, Mickey. Be nice to sweet Meredith. <laughs> I'm just kidding now. Uh, sorry for being a hard ass the other day, Meredith. It's just that we need to be a bit cautious. Cautious? Of what? The man, of course. Always the fucking man. Uh. So. You guys are sticking it to the man, eh? The man, man. Hell yeah. Can't stand the man. man. Anything with authority in whatever shape or form it appears. I think I know what you mean. Feeling like a prisoner of society. Hey, guys. Let's not spoil this <laughs> evening with heavy stuff, okay? How about shoes? Ah, you're so right, Junebug. Who cares about the man when I've got you? There's something that'll make you feel lighter. Much lighter. 
Is that a weed? Meredith. Um. We're saying yes to everything this run through, aren't we, Meredith? So in for a penny, in for a pound, my darling. Sure. My turn. How about some booze? Uh, right, okay, it's carrying on. Sure, what do you have? Beer, wine, and whiskey. Let's have a little wine. Wine, please. Gotcha. Be right back. Please don't play another... Okay. Memories. 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 <laughs> of you. And... And me. Yeah, wow. wow. Alrighty. Here you go. Thanks. Why are you holding it like that? Mmm, wine in a red cup. So, are you guys on the run? What can I say? We've got a few unpaid parking tickets. Mickey had an argument with some cop, and then there's a bit of college and tax debt. Nothing major. So we're not really on the run. It's more like speed walking. Mm-hmm. Well... I'm sure you'll have more peace in Canada. I hope you guys will be happy there. It's so exciting. Damien will pick us up with his Jeep tomorrow morning. We'll have a cozy hour under the blanket, swim across the border, and then we're good. Hey, I just realized we're abandoning the RV. You should totally have it. What? Mickey, can Meredith have the RV? My piece of junk? <laughs> Knock yourself out. What am I going to do with that? Really, guys? I'll take it, That's though. awesome. No problem. We don't really believe in possessions, anyway. Whatever you decide, we'll leave it at the gas station. That's where we rendezvous with Damien. Wild. Memories, Far memories, out, man. Far out, you know? Of you and me. Memories. Memories. Thursday. Oh, I just have mail for you, actually. I don't need to... Raven Way again. I'm delivering? Oh my god, I'm delivering something back to that weird place. Oh my god. Chainsaw Man. Oh dear, you're a sight for sore eyes. Hi, Mildred. Oh, hi, Miss J... Mildred? How so? Are you expecting more mail from your son? It's just... this week. It's all a bit much for me. I need to get my hair done for Sunday's special evening. But I can't leave my cats alone. You want me to cat sit? And then all of a sudden, Frank has gone missing. He still needs to bring me an envelope. Please tell me that you have it with you. I'm afraid this is just a postcard. But... What do you mean, he needs to bring you an envelope? What do you mean? Oh, don't be a nosy posy, Meredith. Trying to help. Oh dear, oh dear. He can't just have vanished into thin air, can he? Don't worry, I'm sure Frank will show up again. Oh, Frankie boy. Always making me worry too much. And I need to cancel the hairdresser's appointment. Oh. But what if I can't reschedule? Yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbles, but I'll look after your cats. Perhaps I could look after your cats. Would you, my dear? It's tomorrow evening. That would be such a relief for me. And the cats. Sure. Tomorrow night? I made plans for tomorrow. I mean, I don't think I did. Uh... Sure. No trouble at all. Oh, thank you so much, dear. Just show up at seven and eat as many cookies as you like. Well. Bump into Angie. Hey, let's do another movie date before I leave town. Hey, Mildred. I'll cut your hair for you. 
Snap, snap, snap. Yo, oh, darling, what have you done? Bloody hell. I love it. I look like a queen. Here's the RV. I love that she's such a Ghostbusters van. She has the logo outside. <gasps> Forgot the uh, parcel. Just call this episode Morph Forgets Parson. Every time. Meredith! Look at Murder. this house on wheels! I have no idea where it came from, but it's absolutely rad. Do you want it? It's mine, actually. Mickey and June gave it to me. You know, that young couple down by the lake campground. Whoa, really? That's so tight! Here, they left this note on the driver's seat. Oh, let me read it. Life's a journey and not a destination. Just grab the wheel and enjoy the ride. Love, M and J. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. Uh, do you want it? I actually don't really want it after all. Maybe you'd like to have it. You know, keep it here and tinker Fix on it. Fix it up for me. Oh, yes. That'd be amazing. You know I love tinkering. But it's going to need a lot of work. Good to hear, Lori. I can already hear the cogs in your head spinning at top speed. What are your plans? Well, it's going pimp to pimp my ride. I should give it a name first. Can't have such a beautiful vehicle and not give it a name. How about the sea turtle? Big, slow, washed up, just like a turtle. Or the raccoon, because it's got brown spots and is full of trash. Or the hermit shell. It had many owners over the years, just like the shell of a hermit crab. I like... I like... Oh, the raccoon's good. The sea turtle's good, too. Hop in the sea turtle. Hey, losers, hop in the sea turtle. We're going somewhere. Hey, get in the raccoon. Get in the hermit's shell. Um, yeah, sea turtle. The sea turtle. Good choice. I'll get working on it right away. See you later. Bye. Bye. See ya. Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Yikes, you creep. I'm gonna say it. Yikes, you creep! Uh, you keep giving me jump scares. What? I mean, excuse me, sir. Slip of the tongue. Good afternoon. I wanted to let you know that today was my last day here. Oh. Oh, really? Will Frank be coming back then? That's all I have to say. Good luck. Hmm. Weird. Very weird. Thursday afternoon. If I hit this, will it fix the sound? No. Oh, wait. Hello? Hi, Em. It's me, Kay. Oh, hi, Kay. Good. You're home. Listen, I don't know if you're busy tonight, and I really <gasps> I kind of am. Oh no. And now I'm imagining being inside of a huge big old thing, right? Supposed to be <laughs> sure, what's up? Okay, so this is going to sound like I'm 16, but I have these tickets to a really big concert tonight for Barry and me, and it seems the babysitter has just bailed on me. All right, so maybe the babysitter part doesn't sound like I'm 16, I hope. <laughs> anyway, it's Journey, so I'm like, oh, I need I'll to go tonight, and I got these you know. tickets ages ago. And it's a long drive to Portland, so we'll probably be out all night. And I promise you, I've called everyone and their brother. Besides, they're really good kids to watch tonight. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um... Can I get a shortcut to the question? <laughs> yeah, sorry. You're totally right. I'm blabbering on R&I. Okay, don't freak out. You got this. All right, recap. Journey tonight in Portland. Got tickets. Sitter bailed. So I guess you figured out by now that I'm awkward. I can just, uh... Turn down the sound effects so we can hear it better. What are you trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Is tonight when I'm meant to be looking after the cats? 
Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way. And I would owe you big time. Cheers. Maybe I can just take them over there, give them cookies. You would, wouldn't you? Hmm. Interesting. Oh dear. Never mind. Don't care. Can you be here around 6 p.m.? So in like 30 minutes? You don't have to bring anything. There's food, videos, even a cardboard replica of Apollo 11 with a set of matching helmets. You're covered. See you in a bit. All right. See ya. Mm. All right. Who wants s'mores? Never had a schmore. Never had a schmore in my life. That's the title of my uh, biography. Hey, 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 guess who's back? Never Frank? had a schmore come true. Welcome back, Frank. I'm so glad to see you again. I'm so happy to be here again. I guess Morgan didn't stick around to welcome me back. Well, I guess I can't blame him. Oh, well, he'll never get his way here. Tell me more. How'd you get rid of him? Well, what can I say? Don't mess with the big boys. I guess they didn't understand that some of my customers do a little more than talking about their cats. Hmm. Are they criminals? <laughs> no, no, nothing that bad. Frank Coleman's no stranger to the high-stakes game. I've got lawyers in my inner circle. All it took were a couple of lawsuit threats. Okay. Sweet. That should keep them off our backs for a while. Haha, <laughs> yes. But that buffoon will be back. You can bet on it. What odds can you give me? Haha, <laughs> Meredith. Uh. I better get back to work. Did I? Oh, yeah. I mean, I feel like... Oh. She's practicing for the weekend. Hello? Friday delivery day. Well, just call me Friday Delivery K. Okay, no, that sounded better in my head. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. You were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Are they okay? Did they mention anything? Max did say I owe him pancake breakfast for the rest of the week, and Grace said she will never sleep again, but yeah, pretty much. What movie did you watch with them anyway? <laughs> so... <laughs> Skipping the question. How was the concert? <laughs> oh yeah. Man, Journey is so good. Those songs have been stuck in my head all day. Eh, that sounds great. I know, right? There's just so much cool stuff being created right now, you know? I mean, Journey was cool. I got to know them through Barry at first, but I tell you, if Prince or New Order ever came to Portland, I would sell my spleen for tickets. One spleen, two bands. That's quite the potential dilemma. Oh, and I haven't even mentioned Cyndi Lauper. Or Run DMC. Or Stevie Wonder. And before you go there, I know you're probably setting up a joke about spleens and ham and organs right now. Joke's on you, because I don't even know what that means. You know, music organ, body organ. Never mind. All oh. jokes aside, though, I spent half the concert thinking about how I haven't really focused on my mm, own music for a while dreams. now. Kids, work, all that stuff. So much going on. And I mean, I love tinkering, but right now, I'm not sure I'm even creating anything cool or just... You know? Not even Barry is allowed to listen to my songs at this stage, to be honest. Can I hear it? I'd love to hear your music sometime. I'm sure it's great. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Maybe I'll hold you to that. I was thinking, I have a mixtape with some of my stuff, you know? Just something I've been trying out with my new synthesizer. Hand it over. I'd be honored. That's great. It's just something I've been playing around with. Don't expect any fireworks. And hey, don't tell me what you think yet, yeah? All right. You'll be my secret special audience of one, so I can get used to the idea. Of an audience. Okie dokie. Would this have anything to do with Sunday evening? Okay, don't tell anyone, but I'm thinking of performing a song on my new synth this Sunday. Wow. Holy crap, I just said that out loud. Dude! You are coming to the open mic, right? Sure. Of course, that's great! Wild horses couldn't drag me away. But act cool, yeah? No one else knows yet. See you there. Sure thing. 
back to my own journey for now. Haha. <laughs> nope, ignoring that. Bye now. Okay, Kay. That was a good one, Kay. Should acknowledge it. So what's my... Ah, watching the cats is today. Okay, I was hoping that that wasn't a choice between those two things. for a few days on an urgent job out of state. Where's Angie? Why have I why have I not spoken to my girl? Ah, okay. Here's the mail. Thanks. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of Yada Yada Yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada. Uh wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this! We have decided to postpone the construction hey, of apartments for at least well done, six Rob. months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. Nice. It worked. The plan worked. Congratulations. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Okay. Ah, oh, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Hi, Bert. Hi, Bert. Hi, Bert. Let's head into Ernie. Ah, the waxworms have arrived. Excuse me? I meant the package, Miss Weiss. It's my worms. For fishing. Just in time, I'm taking a boat to the island this afternoon. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like Fishing. your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Let's do it. All right, back to the post office. That is one bow-legged sailor right there. Quite the gap, but... Alright, zip up here. Nailed it. Mm, peaceful. So, is this a quiet day or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. And that's the nice thing about fishing. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I think I forgot how boredom feels. Fishing also requires silence. Wow. Okay, 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 Bert. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Although, actually, the voice that I'm doing saying Bert sounds more like Bert talking to Bert rather than Ernie. Isn't Ernie up here? <laughs> hey, Bert. <laughs> eh, Sesame Street. Um, Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day, and I thank you for the company. Wow. 
Oops. Guess I uh, pushed too much. Ooh. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Mum, what is this picture here? Okay. Mum done dirty in that oh, one. Okay. <laughs> Take that down off the wall. Bloody hell. Hello, I'm Meredith's mum. Driving along the highway Headlights light up the signs Thinking of what might happen um. Radio keeps track of time I mean, I used to work in the music industry, and I have to say, Kay probably made the right choice to just have kids instead. Hello? Oh. Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Hmm. Let me think. The ma ma, -ma monster deal? Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say uh -oh. to you. Am I in trouble? About you. Uh -oh. You've been a huge part of the success mm -hmm. of this company. Okay. And I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize <sighs> that I couldn't have done it without you. Definitely not. And I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. Oh, so it's good to be here's a new appreciated. monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner. In the company oh my god. for 20% of the shares and oh my god. a significant pay raise. Oh my god. Significant. The only condition well, like significant. is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Oh, wow, Steve. That sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. So... Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Oh my god, she could be rich and be involved in computers, which is definitely a passion of hers, but she's grown bored with that life. Or stay here? Such Good a hard evening, choice. feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Hee <laughs> kitty. Ow. Got scratched. Eh, yeah, kitty. Kitten. 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 I love cats so much. A postcard from Angie. Angie! Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. As you should. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. Pretty good kiss, though. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the Already open did. mic night on Thanks. Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. Mm -hmm. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if... Little old me figures into those plans somehow. So anyway, I'll see you there. Yeah. I mean, little old you Love, did. Angie. Love. Well, okay. I was about to say, you know, I was thinking twice since you hadn't been in contact with me for an entire week after we shared that kiss. But then she said love, and get the old googly eyes going. Happy All right. Got a few deliveries today. I feel like this might be our final Saturday, run. Everyone. It's time once again for a P.O. Positive or that P. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. I feel oh, like yeah. um, I if I kept the RV, it would have actually been a choice to just take off in that. But I don't think I would have picked that for Meredith, actually. As nice as that sounds, I think the choice was always going to be between here and the city. Let's see if we got my pictures. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Well, thanks, Nancy. Here we go. Here are the photos. I, t I mean, that's a good photo. Do you want to pay me for that and start printing postcards, Nancy? Because that is top-notch. 
Wonderful. Wow, I took so many pictures, didn't I? Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. If you'd have picked them up earlier this week, you could have participated in a photography contest. Oh. Oh. Really? I didn't... I didn't know. That's okay. I take pictures for myself not to win contests. Eh, you can probably only win contests like those if you're professional. Well, I, I, I am pretty I'd good. like to think that talented casual photographers also have a decent chance. Well, one can always dream. All right, Nancy, have a nice life, yeah? Let me tell you, people like that, you just gotta, you just gotta brush them off your shoulders, guys. You just gotta water off a duck's back, that stuff. They will spread their misery, won't they? It will make you stop believing in yourself. Or empty yet? Not yet. Hmm. These look like bills. Don't say it, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Who's Bill? Alright, next. The motel. Dear, right. Very chill, very cozy, very wholesome. Okay. Special delivery. <laughs> 400 Lake Road. There it is, the last parcel. Will it be nice to meet today? I'm busy. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. It's not the only thing I'm gonna break, nerd. Ba Boom! You're welcome. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. Well, he showed no growth as a human. Go to now to Raven Way again. Feels like it's a, oh hey look it's our metal detecting friend. I was gonna say hello. Hey bud. Hi there. Have you found anything today? Oh hi. Uh yeah, a few things. Nothing spectacular. A tin can, a hoard of ancient gold coins, and a ring pull. Oh, wow. I was lying about the coins. Oh. Ah. Okay. Well. Good luck. Thanks. That's cute that I can actually just see him and go over and talk to him as like a secret little Easter egg character, isn't it? Because I think it may have even been random seeing him on the farm that time, to be honest with you. Glad we found him though, old Mackenzie Crook.
delivery. 666! Six, six, six. Oh, it's 166. Six. It's fine. It's only two thirds as cursed. Alright. Uh, just the farm now. Expert cinematic driving so that we can see Meredith dodging everything perfectly. This is just going to be a delivery or a scene. A scene. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Mm -hmm. Hey, folks. Just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Moe's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame. Enjoy some swell performances and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening, and maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks, and I'll be there too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Sure. Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much. Well. I'm the ghost driver, Jack Me. Oh, it's oh, my, ah, I'm actually if it's getting dark and we've got our lights out, I'm gonna drive back because it's oh my gosh, we got a proper storm a brew in here. Yeah, that's in, rather than fast travel, we'll enjoy this. It is some heavy rain, Jason. I don't know if I've seen the lights on the car yet. lightning. Dun, 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 dun. Thrilling. Oh, there it is. Kind of at night time. It's some beautiful lights out there. I love it. Gorgeous it looks. statue up. It's so cool to see this at night time. wish it was a starry night, not a just cloudy evening. Nice. And so ends a week full of turmoil. Sure was. Are you happy it's over? If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? $876.34. Would have been a nice payday, huh? They're playing each other again tonight. Very, very paltry. Should Frank. I change the bet? Uh, no, stick with it, man. Nope, hold the line. Okay, let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. What's my I last totally day? forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. You're gonna offer me the so job? I guess you can have it. Oh, this is such a hard choice. Are you serious? Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? 
think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Gosh, I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, am I going for a date tonight? Oh my god, I'm totally going up for a date for Robert whilst in love with Angie. What am I doing? Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... Mm -hmm. It was okay. A nice change of scenery. Great, but not something you do for the rest of your life. I don't think so. I'm afraid that would be a bit too monotonous for me. Yeah, I understand. You probably need something a bit more challenging. No, oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Hope? Hi, Mom. I don't know. I'm not sure, to be honest. What are you not sure about, dear? Are other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? Mm-hmm. Well, there are some interesting developments, yes. Oh, there are? But are they really interesting enough to give up your entire career? I really think you need to think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. Uh, thanks. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. Bless you. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe. And I'm sure you'll be okay. Well, that's very sweet. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! Coins. I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. Well, there aren't a lot of other restaurants around, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Okay. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. A salad, a juicy T-bone steak, pancakes. Mm. Pancake date. Oh, pancakes. I need pancakes. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... I'm gonna have pancakes and just water. I'll have drinks after. Water. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, it's pancake time! And get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Sure did. Yeah. Are you going? I wish I could go. Especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Announce the weather for next week? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Shut up. Jack? Really? <laughs> no. He's into comedy. Oh. Would have loved to have heckled him. Why aren't you oh, going to well, be here? This is a good week anyhow. Other than the fact that it would be very uh, awkward <laughs> with both of our dates here. Because you're sitting here with me? Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh -uh. <sighs> I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Actually, Maureen, is it the upcoming open pronounced mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, Do young you think man. Maybe oh, he's... by the way, Meredith. I need to steal him for two minutes. Feeling he scared because of his introverted phone. ways that he's been Excuse away me, for too long. He feels like this it might Maureen's be overwhelming. Jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Maybe that's why he's not going to be here. Mm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh, oh boy. The world would be boring without her. Speaking of, 
Are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Yes, I probably will. Must be nice here compared to the big city. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. It's also where I buried the bodies. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Come on, Robert, spill. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Got to set up some stuff for the open mic Maureen, night, like, and I can't pick a lane. any peeping eyes. Love. Oh, okay, Maureen, no problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two you were to trying your to wingman me. Thing. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. I'm paying half, but do you mind if I'm like I pay, a millionaire now, or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. Not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. Well, you're welcome. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. But you're not leaving without a hug. Nice. I don't know how else that could have become romantic. Maybe you have to turn down Angie for Robert to be a romantic option? I don't know. I'm curious to see if people did pursue Robert and if it was possible to have a kiss with him. But I'm glad I picked Angie, honestly, because... I could never have predicted. Uh, I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. Probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Mo's Diner. Anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last joke. To people not even looking at him. So rude. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, "What's up with the hanging meat up there, man?" So the bartender says, "Ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss." You have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith oh, Weiss. It. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, What car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! That, that's me, all right? Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. It's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? <laughs> Her cat Fine, on both counts, so dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? It's the same, but you know what? You look, uh, you look amazing. You look amazing. Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. Thank you, dear. Pity it's quite the waste of time <laughs> oh, me. and money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Why that? Why that? Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided Aww. to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Mildred. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right, well, Enjoy. anyway, Enjoy. A happy ending care, for Mildred. Dear. Now, where did he park the car? 
Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? What happened? Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Karma. I mean, poor you. I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Guess who? <gasps> Jack Burton? <laughs> Aw, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Look at this creep watching me. <laughs> She's like, oh, there's something going on over here. There's good ladies. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch this from over here like it's a TV show. Aw. Oh. That's a real bummer. So, what have I missed? Oh, it's great so far. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well, then, I, I guess I arrived to play just this in game. time. So, how have you been? If it works. To be honest, mm -hmm. I expected to hear more from you than just a note. Yes. I know, and I'm sorry. It's just, well, shutting down the store was a big... Hey, Angie. Hey, Meredith. Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure it's like she's brand new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later. Bink. Hmm. Wait, what's Lori talking about? Oh, it's kind of a long story. You know Mickey and June? Y yes. The hiker couple, right? Well, long story short, I've somehow gained possession of their vehicle of choice, which, as Miss Young just described, is a perfectly adequate RV that I'm going to use to motor right the, out of this sad little town. The RV that was given to me that I gave to Laurie that has now been given to you. Wait, what? I could have given it to you. What are you... Excuse me? So you're definitely leaving? Absolutely. Come with me. I mean it. Leave this sad <sighs> old town behind. And go wherever we want to go. Why don't you come Free to the spirits, city with... The way Mickey and June intended. I'd rather be by myself for a while. I've grown quite fond of you. You are a good kisser. I. Why don't you come to the city with me? Like, I have a millionaire job waiting. Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm. There's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. Oh, I don't know. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. Well, I got babe. stuff to do anyway. Yep. Wait, what? Angie, wait! Dear people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please, put your hands together for Kay, everyone! Okay, here goes nothing. And on, and on, and on, and on. I Did I really say Angie wait and then she just left? I could drive on
This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. He's here for Maureen. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Hey, what have, it, what have you enjoyed? thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. <laughs> Good night, Bert. Thanks again. Bert. And now for an Ouch. announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. Name and I think the lights. time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mokays. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Mokay. Like, okay. Hey, uh, you know, that was amazing. That was amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me like a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? How did it feel to be up there? Oh, it was so <laughs> great to be performing again. It felt... Amazing! I'm all over the place right now. It was such a rush. I will definitely be doing that again. If they let me, of course. That's great. I am so proud of you, Kay. You really have made a great life here. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Sam. I'd like to think so. Big day tomorrow, right? Oh, boy. You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... <sighs> Wait. I'm not good at this stuff, oh. so... I just want to say... It's good to have you back these past weeks, Em. I mean, sure, just interrupt really my good. position. Just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? I will. Whatever the outcome, yeah? I promise. Of course. And remember, time marches, marches on. on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. Hugs? For everything. It's so wholesome, dude. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. Is a big toe really that big of a sacrifice? Why is Frank kind of like, creeping? You good, Frank? What's up, man? I feel like I should be slowly zooming in and playing some ominous music. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Alright. Yeah, but how do you make a choice like that if you don't even know what your own situation will end up looking like? Something on your mind, hon? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I'm, I'm feeling a bit weird about tomorrow. How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just, but that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. We really reconnected. We did. And I'm happy we did. <laughs> Listen, you're two grown women. And if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Why do I feel Speaking like you would have choices, said that regardless of what I You've got a big day in the morning, morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I think I have a feeling. Yeah. Then you go follow that feeling, hun. Actually, I was lying. I don't know what to do tomorrow. Having some doubts? No. I just wish things were a bit more clear. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. Well... How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. Oh. But how do you live your life then? Want to know my advice? You take that one first step mm -hmm. and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after. And whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy. And there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, wow, doesn't it? Wow. Thanks, Maureen. That makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Great advice. Maureen? Thanks. For everything. I best get back inside. You take Hug? care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Oh, Maureen doesn't get a hug? Here's the thing. The decision of, like, if you go with her. Now, it's the fact that she has a, like, a chance to be involved. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday, I placed a bet on the Angels, just like you said, mm -hmm. and won. But they played again yesterday, and I let it ride, and then they lost. Wow. They're playing again tonight, and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. You're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Ha <laughs> ha, Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Yes, I want to wear it longer. I'm taking it off and I'll leave town. <clears throat> so here's the thing. We always have three choices here. Staying in town, being a post lady. Possibly, you know, friends with Robert and everyone else that's here and Kay and everything. We can leave and go back to the city with Steve and Co. Our terrible job that we didn't seem to be thrilled by. But also, if, you, if you're a programmer and that's your life, Meredith, and you've trained for that. And now you're on the cusp of personal computer revolution. Being part of that, for all we know, this is this world's Microsoft. And she could be turning down the opportunity of a lifetime to get into an RV with Angie. Owner of a failed business. And just go somewhere living on the road. Like, it's such a big gamble. Like, what if they just break up in a month and then she's lost that job, you know? Lost that opportunity, but then what if Angie is the one? What if she's the one to make her truly happy? It's very, very difficult. But uh, I think I will be leaving town either way. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But... I understand. What are you gonna do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't what? say that what I What about Angie? You. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. Um... 
I'd love to take one Why last don't look I told over Angie the lake. to wait? Why am All I not right, getting go to tell grab Angie? Your stuff and let's go. The RV. And the V belt is not in oh, great shape, Jesus. but it should Scared last me. you another month or three. <laughs> The sea turtle and all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. I thought you really wanted to have the RV, Lori. I wanted to work on her really badly. But now that she doesn't need any more work, Angie can at least drive her around. Since I don't have a license, and I'm not old enough to get one anyway. I'll keep you up to date on all our adventures, promise. It'll be like you're right there with us. I'm counting on it. Hey, Meredith, I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too, Lori. It was really fun watching that movie and working on the RV with you. Me too. Besides, you'll be back sometime, right? Of course. I have to check on my favorite engineer. You mean me? I promised to help <laughs> I her, didn't love I? that. Safe travels, Meredith. Thank you, Lori. And she wants to get into hug her, don't hug her, don't be mean. Bless that child. See you around. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah, she certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. <laughs> I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Bare Clothes, necessities. toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? I would really seriously definitely like to go with you. I think you should go alone. It's weird that the cutscene was the same and him saying, I'll take you to the airport. I guess it's just there is an alternative scenes, but this is us making the choice choice um and i choose a chance at love i would really seriously definitely like to go with you oh wow well let me think about it for a second yep thought about it you can come i've grown quite fond of you angie hadn't you noticed and here I was, wondering if it was just my imagination. The feeling's mutual, babe. Okay, I'm babe. in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. Wow. Well, what have you heard? Okay. From who? People talk. Wow, people talk in the comments about my driving. When also. advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife, Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. Yes. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? <laughs> what, are you a poet now? Or a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? The end? Sorry for button in, folks, but I've got a special treat for y'all. I just updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own KF. Hey, Lake. We did it. That was such a sweet ending. I feel strangely emotional for Meredith actually taking a chance on love and leaving with Angie there. I think I made the right choice. What choice would you have made? Leave a comment below the video. Would you have stayed in Providence Oaks? Would you have chosen to continue doing the post? Would you have left with Angie? Would you have chosen the lumberjack? Would you have uh, gone back to your office job? Is this going to be a preview of their life? Oh my god, please tell me they live happily ever after. Oh no, this is her at home. 